live from downtown Honesdale, Pennsylvania, a real happening place. If you like places that aren't happening at all, it's Frank the Lunatic Rants. That's right, everybody. I'm here with a really quick rant because of something that actually happened today. I'm going to rant about cashiers who just don't know and can't do their job properly, don't know prices of things, and don't pay attention, and try to argue with people. Case in point, going to Turkey Hill today in Honesdale. And I, I've got a refill cup with me. And refills are supposed to be like, you know, 99 cents, something like that. And they always run this deal on their on their hot dogs that they're uh, three for three dollars. So I go to check out. The girl turns around and tells me it's like 10 something. I'm like, whoa. She goes like, well, she doesn't even tell me how much. She just says credit or debit. And I'm like, well, how much is it? Because she doesn't even tell me how much it is. Oh, it's 10, whatever. I'm like, no, that's wrong. No, that that's right. You got the you got the lot the, the big refill. And I'm like, yeah, but there's no reason why it should be 10 something for three hot dogs and a refill of soda. Well, first the Nimrod charges me for a refill of coffee, which is more. I'm like, yeah, because I put a straw into my hot coffee and drink it apparently. Okay, so she's going to correct that. But it's still a lot. I'm like, you're, something's still wrong. No, that's right. I'm like, well, you charged me for the wrong size refill. My refill cup is slightly under, but I don't care that whatever on that. I'm like, you charged me $3 a piece for the hot dogs. I'm like, these aren't the special order hot dogs from, the, from your you know, little grill section there. Oh, well, maybe your rewards card didn't take. So said, even if the rewards card didn't take, your normal price for hot dogs from, from the self-service isn't $3 a piece. Like, I think they're usually $1.50 a piece. No, that must be it, that your card didn't take. Okay, so she does it again. Same price again. Like, you're, and I tell her, you're still charging me $3 for the hot dogs. Eat $3 each. Wound up having to have to have her get a supervisor over to actually correct the problem because that's how much of a yam bag this shits was. Like un friggin' believable. Because she rang up the stuff wrong and wouldn't admit that she rang it up wrong. It was my fault, the customer. I did something wrong, even though I had no control over the register. First it was my rewards card, and that's why it came out like that. But then I must have did something wrong. Really, people? Come on. You did something wrong. You're a stupid cashier who didn't do her job right because you weren't paying attention and you were just pushing all those freaking stupid uh, touch sensor buttons without looking to see what I actually had. And you won't admit that you did something wrong. And you don't apologize that you did something wrong. You have an attitude even at the end of the transaction. Have a nice day. You dumb friggin' yam bag. You don't even deserve to work at Turkey Hill. That's too much of an honor for you. Unbelievable. Maybe you should get a job working at a friggin' carnival. It's a ticket taker. Maybe you can get that right. Friggin' idiots. Unfri- it's just unbelievable. The attitudes. It's bad customer service everywhere anymore. Just attitudes everywhere anymore. And usually I don't have that at a Turkey Hill. You know, usually, even if they did something, did screw up, you know, they're always nice about it. Not this woman. I should have caught her name. I should look at the receipt and see if it says her name. But anyhow. Well, that's a quick little rant while I'm driving here. Get back to my uh, hot dogs. Anyway, that, my friends, is all I have to say about that.